Okay, in this lesson, I want to uh, create a volume and control the uh, cloner objects with a volume. Uh, open VDB files. And after that, I want to explain how to use uh, <clears throat> fields combined with the uh, volume builder. This lesson is all about the volumes and uh, field and volume. <clears throat> first, the first usage of the volume in uh, fields lessons is control the, the fields job could control the strengths of the cloner, uh, the power of the parameter with volume. Okay. okay. Uh, first, this is a cloner as we can see. If you want to use a field, you have to uh, create a custom field like plane. <clears throat> and in a plane, you want to control this parameter. Let me make it bigger. Sorry. Control the parameter of uh, position y of clone in a field with a volume. The volume object here, okay? Okay. Uh, first, you can select the volume object here. And as you can see, the software tells you, please uh, uh, specify me a volume. So, this is not a good way to create volume here. Uh, so, we can create a volume and drop, drag, <clears throat> drag and drop it here. So we are. We can go to the volume. Uh, I explained them before. You can refer to the previous lesson to a complete list and the volume builder, and you can create a volume here, and uh, you can create, a, for example, a sphere and turn it to the volume if you want. Okay, the sphere is here, and we have to. Okay, that's nice. And as you can see, you can click and drag this sphere. As you can see, it's create a voxel. Uh, for us and with this volume this is not very good for that but it's here with the volume you can control the parameter of this cloner you can click and drag it here and as you can see it uh, tells you which volume do you want to uh, import here point or volume object in this lesson i want to explain it. volume object you can click volume object and as you can see it's control the color a value and the color with the uh, as you can see the volume you can holding alt to um, <clears throat> and as you can see you can uh, create and change the volume and uh, create interesting uh, effects by this you can control the color gradient and the volume with that and you can unclip that and as you can see uh, unclamp it it's create very uh, long distance of the that parameter uh, don't forget if you use the volume uh, as a controller in a field it's multiply the parameter in a plan as you can see it multiplied you can add a little number to see it better here you can control the volume object for creating the parameter so unclamp it and use a small number for uh, create control the parameter because the parameter the voxel are in a volume builder multiply this number and you have a long distance so you can you have to do something here first unclamp layer as you can see if you clamp you cannot see unclamp it and after that you go to the parameter and give a small ob object to control it okay another interesting way to control this plane effector here yeah it's a effector yeah it's there control it uh, going to the plane move off on another plane another way to control it it's uh open vdb file that you can create it any software uh, and import it in cinema 4d i explained it before but you can go in the volume and the volume loader if you click that uh, here you can import your open vdb file 
Okay, we have a software and site called Embergen. You can create a, a, a interesting volume that, but they are uh, allowing us to uh, download their OpenVDB file free and using project. As you can see, this is a sequence. This is a fire OpenVDB sequence, and you have to introduce the fi first file to Cinema 4D, uh, and the Cinema 4D import it for you. Here you can click and load your file from your system. Okay, th this is OpenVDB file. Uh, click the first frame and open it. Okay, and as you can see, its file is open here. You can create it here and you have to play it. It is, I think, 101 frame and you can play it. And as you can see, this is our fire. But the orientation of the emergent is different from Cinema 4D and you can rotate it 90 degree and you can create it uh, here and this uh, volume builder have to intersect to our cloner to see its effect you can make it of course bigger as you can see uh, here you can go to the volume builder and you can scale it more here and we have a fire that you can control, for example, just I want to flame, not temperature to make it easier. And as we can see, you can control the amount of the parameter uh, when these points intersect the volumes, <clears throat> the cloner. So we can go to the plane and in the field, you can click and dr dr drag and drop the volume loader here as it automatically uh, insert it as a volume object, exactly this. Okay, and we turn it off from view and now you can see we can control the volume of parameter of Y position and the color with the volume uh, open VDB file. This is the best usage, usage of the controlling the field with the volume uh, loaders. It is interesting. And as you can see, you can control, you can add any number of the <clears throat> volume builder here. Okay. Okay. Another way that you can use the uh, uh, field, uh, field uh, with uh, volume is you can assign them directly to uh, volume builders. Interesting. First of first, we have, and, and with this sense, you can understand the technical uh, of the fields with this as you can see this is an uh spherical field this is all about one and zero parameter it means if we are going to the center of this uh <clears throat> field we have 100 percent or one of that parameter that we want to control and we are going to this this circumference this surface we have zero of that so the volume builder can create this one to zero changing the volume with the voxels. So you can create a volume builder here and assign directly the field under the volume builder. An interesting part happening. As you can see, we have a voxel here that created from this. Go to volume builder and you can assign more voxel to better see that. And you can see as you can see, we have very dense, and that's it. And why this voxel does not match the uh, whole circumference of that? It is because of that tertiality. If you select the volume builder and select the uh, spherical field under the volume builder here, you, you can see the surface tertiality here. That in this lesson, I want to explain it. As you can see, we have a number here. Any point under this number, will be uh will be not create a surface for you if you create a, change the type of the uh, volume builder from sdf to fog you can see it better now <clears throat> this is on points as you can see in these points we have black it means the zero percent going to 100 percent of that parameter that the field want to control that in 
our previous case it's control the cloner now it control the voxel creation it means uh, for example in between them we have a gray uh, values that there are uh, if you go select it uh, there are uh, <clears throat> the number select that the number zero that threshold threshold okay uh, this is a voxel and we have not that threshold uh, option here but the surface just create till here if you want to create more you have to uh, decrease the number of the threshold to create whole object okay so create to sfd to create the voxel and this is a gray and after that we are going under that threshold surface and we cannot create you can make it lower as you can see you can if you make it a zero no 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 zero not and if you decrease that you can have more <clears throat> okay okay uh, try another uh, linear as you can see you can for creating mesh you have to mesh builder under mesh create a mesh builder uh, another linear field we can assign it and as you can see, it create a, a small voxel size. Another thing that I want to explain it, if you go to the vo volume builder and then create linear builder here, here you can scale the number of that. You can, uh, which scale do you want to create? If you insert a box, and as you can see, the box with this value, 200 centimeters, exactly match the uh, dimension of the linear. So, if you go to the volume builder and its leads, you can <clears throat> increase the number of these to uh, actual number 200 centimeter. And as you can see here, in a coordination, we can create a voxel from linear. And here you can understand the linear. If you cre create a uh, voxel files to fog, you can simulate the linear behavior of field. It means, uh, as I said before, and as I saw before in previous lessons, uh, in the f uh, f this is a beginning. This is the head of the linear. From this surface to infinity, we have one hundred percent of that parameter. That in this case, we have one hundred per uh, uh, percent of the uh, this fog. This is mean it is mean it is white, and it's going to the black with the fall off we going down to the zero of that parameter and this case is voxel and it's exactly in the middle we have half of that threshold in the middle and from this middle to the infinity we have no voxel creation this is a behavior of the uh, voxel size okay and you can understand it another interesting uh, field that you can uh, assign to your um, volume builder is random okay and now let's see the behavior of the random to create a voxel and <laughs> interesting uh you can go to the voxel size and increase the number to create better voxel and why is this small because you have to the voxel builder create a random and increase the 200 centimeter my unit is millimeters is 2000 millimeter okay because i use it's uh, you have to wait to calculate as you can see this is a behavior of random what happened it means this is a random if you create a voxel to fog as you can see we have a random black and white area in a black area we don't have any geometry of voxel in a white area we have and in between them we have a smooth okay this is the behavior of that it means in the whole area this this area that does not create a voxel there's uh, the point of value of that point are below this threshold okay and this is the behavior of the field here another interesting work that we can do you can use the group uh, object you can group combine the linear and <clears throat> other for example we have a group here you can assign for example uh, mm, uh, 
Oh, or, uh, I forget that. Another field that you can assign is a shader. We have more control to that. The shader, in a shader, you can assign a noise to that. If you create a, where is that? If you create a noise, you have a more control to that black and white area. And here you can assign it. Again, it's a small. Go into the shader and make it a bigger to better to fit exactly the area of that <clears throat> builder. And it's exactly like random, but we, if you go to the shader, if you click, we have a lot of interesting sitting like animation in a noise. And if you play to the low clip and high clip, you can create crisp and more contrast of uh, that black and white area. As you can see, we have more dense black area and we have more hole. As you can see, you can create an animation and interesting part. For example, you can to better see that you can make it to the fog and go to the shader in the noise. Here you can see better of that. And here you can see the animation of fog that. You can create an, int what happened? You can, uh, create an interesting uh, animation with this. Okay, so another <clears throat> example is you can create a group. You can create a group and in the group you can use linear and after that you can use um, here let's random and you can blend them together to create it and you can go to the volume builder or click and drag it under a volume builder and here we can create it instead of the fog you can sdf and as you can see we can combine the linear as you can see the linear create this and the fog you can go to the group and in the group coordination make it bigger again to fit exactly to the renal field and as you can see we have a linear behavior combined to the um, random you can click the uh, uh, random and here you can combine them subtract them as you can see you can multiple multiply them here you can control it and you can create an interesting effect with that. Mm, just in this lesson, I want to, I just want to introduce this uh, example that you can use the volume and the field together. And we have to give you another interesting example in the next lessons to uh, the project based object. Uh, of course, we have interesting uh, playlist in YouTube, on our YouTube channel that I want to um, give you example and idea about the uh, lessons that you learn from the main series of the tutorial. In that playlist, we give you a lot of interesting example and idea about all tools that you learn from Cinema 4D and combine them together uh, in that uh, playlist. Wait for that interesting playlist that the first uh, of that tutorial all about the Mugrov and the Cloner and there are diff and different tutorial in that playlist. Thank you. Hello my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.